Back with our Kiwi SDR receiver again. And now let's have a look at the audio settings. When you uh, open any Kiwi, you'll normally default to the audio screen. I'll just quickly show you under the navigation buttons that we looked at uh, in the previous video. You'll see we've got these colored buttons here. We're on the audio setting here. To the left of that is the waterfall setting. We also have AGC, users and stats. We'll come to those in later videos for this video we're going to look at audio and waterfall. So let's go back to audio. Now the obvious thing here is the volume control. That's self-explanatory. You'll see that with any receiver. There's our volume control. We have a noise blanker here. Which you'll find again with most receivers. If we click on the more button. You'll see now in the bottom left we've got an additional screen we can actually make some more detailed adjustments to the noise blanker the width and the gain of it just close that so that's the noise blanker we've got a drop down here which gives us some uh, noise reducing filters WDSP and LMS and spec so let's just hit the WDSP and we hit the more button next to that and here are the various adjustments we can make to that filter if we drop down again to LMS and hit more we've got different adjustments now that we can make to the LMS filter there's also an auto notch uh, function there we'll just close that and if we go down to a uh, spec and hit more we've got three adjustments we can make to the it's a spectral filter that's what that stands for so we've got the adjustments there so you can scroll through those and choose which one you find best at reducing the noise that you're experiencing we'll just close that we've got a drop down here which is a de-emphasis filter i'm guessing that you'd normally be looking to use that on fm or narrowband fm it's not something i've uh, found much use for to date we can pan the sound between the left and right speakers on our PC. I would normally leave that in the middle, but it's again, it's a question of personal preference. We've got a compressor function here. And we've got the adjustments, which I believe apply to that there. Not quite sure what this does again this is a button that I haven't used with mine and with my use of Kiwis maybe that should be a future a future video there what the advantage of that is anyway lastly on the audio we've got a squelch function most useful if you're using narrowband FM but it'll work on all modes got a level adjustment there and we can adjust up to a maximum of 40 dbs and zero obviously is the squelch being off so those are our audio functions just right at the top lastly we can mute the receiver so if we've got the volume on and we just want to mute the sound instantaneously we just hit that and it mutes now the second thing we look at in this video is the waterfall settings. So if we click on this WF button, we can make various adjustments on the waterfall. More often than not, I will just hit the auto scale button and that automatically adjusts the spectrum and waterfall to a level that the software thinks is appropriate. But using these sliders, we can adjust the ceiling, the floor level, the uh, rate of the update of the waterfall. You can see how it slows down there at that setting. If we put up to fast, it takes a second or two, then it's speeding up. 
we've got some predefined settings for the waterfall and spectrum. This is set to Qt SDR. We can select Kiwi, which gives a slightly different display. We can select Grey, which gives us a, a grayscale waterfall and spectrum. We've got Linear, which is very bright. Just hit auto scale or bring it down a little bit, but not much. We've got turbo, which is uh, to my eye a little bit more pleasing. And SDR DX. So those are the preset waterfall colors and um, the display. There's a couple of settings here which uh, can affect the both the waterfall and the spectrum. I leave this on automatic, it's the way I find it works best. And again, these settings are to do with the speed and shape of the, particularly the spectrum display. Just leave it on MMA normally. And similarly, I think these are to do with averaging of the display. So I just leave those on MMA, but you can alter these. It doesn't affect the performance of the receiver, but it does affect the uh, the visual display and it's whatever you find easier on the eye. So there you go, the waterfall settings and the audio settings for the Kiwi SDR.